Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. Today, I wanna to talk about what to do if your spouse passes away and you own a home together, so you're both on the deed, okay? Before I get to that though, I wanna remind you, if you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate, and you wanna talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay, well, now we get this question quite frequently at the office. You know, there's a married couple, they own a house together, they own several houses together, and one of them passes away, and they're not sure what to do. They know their deceased spouse is on the deed, and they wanna just make sure that everything is done right. Sometimes people feel like they need to immediately do something to remove the deceased spouse from the deed. The fact is, you really don't have to do much until you want to do something with the property. All right. You can do something, but you don't need to. It doesn't really change anything specifically. Okay. Assuming that the property is community property, which means you guys bought it together after you were married, which you probably did, uh, then, well, unless you have a will that directs that hit their half of the house goes someplace else, then you probably would need to do a probate at that time. If the house is going to you, the surviving spouse, then you don't really need to do anything at the time of death. All right. The house is going to pass to you via some process and you can just live there, continue to pay the mortgage, continue to do all the things that you're normally doing. You don't have to worry about anything. The mortgage company doesn't care. They're not allowed. Okay. If the house passes to a family member, that mortgage gets to stay intact as long as the payments remain up to date. So they don't really care what happens as long as you keep paying the mortgage. Now, if you're going to sell the house or when you decide to sell the house, then you will need to do something. Okay. And what that is kind of depends on what state you're in and what the options are. In Washington state, you often don't have to open a probate if the surviving spouse is going to sell property to someone because you can use a tool called a lack of probate affidavit. Okay. The main problem with selling a house if your spouse dies is the title is not clear when you individually go to sell the house. There's a break in there where there were two property owners, you and your spouse, and now there's only one property seller and there's no evidence of transfer of ownership of the deceased spouse's half of the house. That's what the lack of probate affidavit does. It says basically, we own this house together. The half interest in the house of the deceased spouse was supposed to go to me. And now I am selling this house as if the house passed to me, okay? In Washington state, for most title companies, that's going to be good enough to create a clean title allow them to execute a title insurance policy on the transaction and everything is all good. All right. Another thing you can do, you can't do this after someone dies, but you know, create a trust, put the house in the trust. If all else fails, then you may need to go through probate to transfer that property. But nine times out of 10, 95 times out of a hundred, you don't need to do anything like that. So if this has happened to you and you talk to an attorney that tells you that you need a probate, I might try to talk to someone else. Okay. The only time that you would really need a probate is if you were just dead set on clearing the title, getting that person off and transferring it to you. But I don't recommend it. It's kind of overkill. And you know, if you get somebody talking to you about probate, when your spouse has died, reach out to someone else. Just make sure that what you need is actually happening. All right. That's it. Hopefully this made sense. If it did, that's great. If you're someplace that you can like or comment, if you have questions, let me know. If you're someplace you can follow, follow. And as always, if you have questions or anything related to estate planning or probate, and you want to talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. All right, that's it for today. I am Christopher Small. I'm the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning. We do probate. We do it well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you. And I will talk to you again soon. See ya.